are here with Tasha Adams ahead of hosting the MTV Movie and TV Awards Unscripted. Girl, how is this moment for you? Are you kidding? It's very surreal, but I am so excited to be here. Yes. I mean, we've been together on the journey, as yes. they say. Um, from this is the very beginning. Since the start. <laughs> so you, you went from being on reality TV to hosting The Bachelorette, yes. now here. Yes. Now, we haven't seen you in a couple months since Bachelorette hosting stuff stopped. What have you been up to? Fill us in. I mean, I feel like it's been kind of crazy the last two years. So I was really just doing my own thing. Coming back to my center, moved to New York, got a new place, really been living my best life, traveling, doing the most. But now it's time to work. In the dating department, are you single? Are you dating? Are there potential suitors in the crowd here? I mean, I may have picked certain people to be here, so that way I can possibly say hello. Um, just do we, kidding. Do we have a reality TV crush? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Drop a name. I mean, I know what you're trying to do here. I'm just saying, I'm just Stir saying, the pot. Okay. <laughs> We're at the reality you TV. Might, you might nice. just have to watch, because I might, you know, take a little slide. So we just found out Miss Becca Kufrin engaged. Hi. So many congrats. Honestly, the fact that she proposed to Thomas is probably the cutest thing. But also, Becca just does her own. She did the damn thing. She does her own, and they're the cutest couple. I'm so excited for them. Would you ever date anyone from the Bachelor franchise again? <laughs> I think I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Respectfully. Respectfully. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Um, well, Paradise starts filming in two weeks, and Becca met her guy there. Could we ever see you on the shores of Paradise again? You know, I think that's the million dollar question. And, uh, you know, I'm really looking at the beaches of like, more like Cabo these days. Salida is cool, but I think I'm done with that. A little upgrade. Yeah. So we are here. I'm seeing the names of some of our reality, te reality TV stars. Um, what can you tease for us? What can we expect on the big night? Well, every single reality star yes. is basically here. At least the ones we all love <laughs> and um, the ones that start the most drama. But the real houses of Beverly Hills, we have Selling Sunset, we have Summer House, we have, we have everyone. By the way, I'm seeing, I'm seeing how you guys are spun a little reality because yeah. some of the Beverly Hills women who are put together, I'm. There will be drama brewing at these tables. Let me tell you, I spared no expense with the detail. The seating chart, Miss Sutton will appreciate. I did some work. I did some work. I may have stirred the pot just a little bit. We got to stir the pot a little bit. It's the reality awards. Um, Bethany Frankel getting the award of the night, reality royalty. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she is, though. She's an absolute icon, mogul, philanthropist. I mean, she's made the most out of her entire journey, and we're so excited to honor her. So you are hosting. This is a big show. Yeah. Have you gotten any advice on awards show hosting from anyone? How are you heading into it? Um, no. <laughs> no advice. But really, I was here last year, and so that was the first MTV movie and TV awards and scripted. So it was really cool to see Nikki Glaser do that. Um, and now I'm just really excited to do it and make it my own. I think it's gonna be so fun. We always ask awards show hosts this, how many outfit changes can we expect? I literally asked for as many as I can have. They said as many as you want. And so honey, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever we need. Okay. Just to do the most. One for every reality star. Basically. <laughs> um, so we know you know your drama. Yeah. We can expect drama tonight. But I have to catch up with you. We're going to do a little reality rapid fire with Tasha Adams. Okay. All right. First of all, what was your reaction to Jesse Palmer being hired? We haven't gotten that yet. Okay. Well, I was excited for him. I mean, Jesse's such a sweetheart, but I feel like I'm excited for him. I think he's going to do a good job. Okay. Would you ever come back again? Is the door open there? Oh, like with hosting? I mean, yeah. We'll talk about it. We'll see what happens. I mean, I feel like I'm doing pretty well doing some other things, so I'm excited to be here. Do you want to give people, like, give us a straight up tease for the night, like what they can expect, how wild it's going to get? Yeah. Um, basically, I might be a matchmaker. I might even stir the pot a little bit and try to set up somebody with somebody else, or I might just try to hit on some people on my own. Tonight is going to be an insane night. Okay, so for the record, this is single Tasha hosting. Yes, yeah, single Tasha hosting. <laughs> Well, I love how you wanted to confirm that. <laughs> Single Tasha is hosting, and uh, we're ready. Okay, I gotta say, you do, though, have a dynamic duo partner with you. Vanessa Hudgens is hosting the other arm of the night. How cool does that feel to be doing this together? Have you guys chatted at all? I mean, we have not yet, but I will see her in any minute, actually. Um, but Vanessa is amazing, and honestly, she has done this before. She's done the Music Awards back in 2019, I think it was. So she's been a really good person to kind of, like, watch and see how she runs the waters, and I'm excited to make her proud.